Okay, can you see me okay, Mary? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna do um, first a plank variation, and then last week we did a core, an, an intense core exercise, so we're gonna pull in what um, we did last week back into this workout. Okay. So we're gonna start off, um, I'll show you the, th the exercises, and then I'll start the timer. <laughs> I have it on my phone. Um, so we're gonna start off with a plank tap. So we're gonna be in high plank position. So your feet are nice and wide and you zip that belly button back and you squeeze your glutes. And you're gonna go right hand to left shoulder, come back down, left hand to right shoulder. Now this year I'm gonna be a lot, I, I realize I haven't been a very good coach in, in coaching breathing. So yeah. I'm gonna be harping on breathing. So this is how the breathing <laughs> pattern I want to go is. I'm gonna go exhale, hold one, two, three, four. Don't inhale until you're here for one, two, three, four, same thing, exhale here, inhale here, each being four seconds. Okay. Exercise number two is gonna be a plank up down into an army crawl. So we've done these before, So, but the only thing that changes is the slowness and the breathing. So we're gonna go inhale down, two, three, four, exhale up, two, three, four. Inhale on the other side, exhale. And then the final one is an army crawl, we're going to get down into this plank position here. We're going to flex the feet and we're just going to shift opposite hand, opposite leg, three forward, three backward, always zipping up that belly button back to the spine. Oh man, I can't wait to do that one. <laughs> oh, and sorry, the final exercise is an isometric push up hold. So I'm not strong enough to do it in plank position, but you're, you're really strong. So you can do it in this position and just hold. For option, you just drop down to the knees. We're just going to hold here. How Nothing. long do you hold for four also? What? You hold for four. So you're just going to hold there the whole time. But, <laughs> but, but yeah, you're, but you're exhaling for four and inhaling for four. So okay. that, that is right. So um, just for the people who aren't here, I'm going <clears> to <throat> the first round with you and, so that they can see. And then the second round, I'll watch your form. I'll still watch your form regardless. But, okay. And then we'll get into the core exercise. Okay, so let me get the timer rolling. We're gonna do it for 35 seconds. And so it should be um, nice and slow. So we're gonna come up into that high plank position, zip that belly button back, squeeze the glutes, feet are nice and wide. We're going exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, across, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, last one, up, one, two, three, four, now up, down, so if you need to go to your knees, that's fine, if you not, just stay in high plank, inhale, down, one, two, three, four, come on up, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, come down, one, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, come down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Now into army crawl, so we're gonna come into low plank, zip that belly button up, we're gonna go right hand with left foot, we're gonna crawl one, two, three, go backwards, one, two, three. For forwards, one, two, three, and back. One, two, three, forward. One, two, three, and back. Last time, one, two, three. Now we're gonna go right into a push-up hold. It's gonna be tough because our arms are kind of burnt out. So we'll go high plank position. If you need to take the option like me, you can come down to your knees, pull that belly button in, squeeze the glutes, we're gonna go down and hold here at the lowest point for 35 seconds, concentrating on your inhale and exhale. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job, Mary. You should have seen Scout. She was so cute. Once my voice started screaming like that, she like was ready to go. <laughs> They're so loud. 
Okay, so take a drink of water if you need it, and we're gonna do it again. How are you feeling? Well, that was brisk. <laughs> you got such strong arms though. I'm impressed. I've been snowshoeing a lot near this. Oh yeah. They're also a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you feel like so nothing hurts though, right? Everything good? Oh no, everything's yeah. So yeah, knock on wood. Okay, so we're gonna go plank taps again. Okay, for those of you who are watching for the recording, option is to always go to your knees if needed. So 35 seconds, three, two, one, up we go. One, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, zip the belly button back, exhale, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, up, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Now we're going into up downs. So pulling that belly button back, we're inhaling at the bottom for two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four and up, two, three, four and down, two, three, four and up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four and up, two, three, four. Pull the chin off the chest and down, two, three, four and up, two, three, four. Last one, two, three, four and up, two, three. Four. Now we go into the low plank, full army crawl for 35 seconds. We go three forwards. One, two, three. Keep your chin long. Back. One, two, three, and forward. One, two, three, and back. One, two, three. Good job. So the straighter you keep your legs, the harder it's going to be. Two, three, and back. One, two, three, chin off the chest, four, one, two, three, and back, one, two, three. So now we're gonna go into that isometric push-up hold at the bottom, and then we'll take a break. So we can go to the knees if needed. We're going down and hold. Really concentrate on your breath here. <laughs> I know it gets hard. Pull the belly button up, squeeze the glutes, pull the shoulder blades back down into their pockets. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Back to child pose. Open up those arms. <sighs> All right, we're gonna give those arms a break. So I'll show you, now we're gonna work the, the low abs. Mm. You should give Stevie this workout because this is a good rock climbing workout. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll nail it to him. So this next one, so we're gonna, we're gonna pull some stuff that we did from last week because one of my main goals this January is to really focus on low abs and to help, help everybody pull up rather than let gravity pull down. So the first exercise is gonna be a knee, knee or toe touch. So whatever one works best for you. So the toe touch is harder. So you would go right hand to left toe, hold for that four seconds and then bring it back down. If this is challenging for the balance, you can go opposite hand to opposite knee and try to hold there. So that would be the option. Exercise number two is gonna be um, reverse dead bug. So Normal dead bud looks like this, opposite hand, opposite leg, but you're going to take your right hand to make it harder and put it on your left thigh. So right hand on left thigh. Uh, wait, let me see. Take your, to put it on your other, there you go. Yep, right there. And you're going to push as hard as you can with that leg into your palm, and you're just going to move this side only until time is called. So you should feel it on that side oblique because you're pushing so hard into your feet the whole time. Okay. 
Okay, final exercise is gonna be a hollow hold rock. So you're gonna keep your elbows as tight towards your head as possible, flexing your feet, and you're gonna rock yourself up to the top, and then you're gonna roll yourself back down. So you're just gonna rock like a boat. The, the more your elbows are close to your temple, the harder it's gonna be. Yep, good. <sighs> so. <laughs> that one is the toughest one for me at least I that one I always struggle with so we'll start from the top which is the knee or toe touch okay so time we're gonna go the, the for 45 seconds instead of 35 so, <laughs> keep your hands underneath your shoulders roll those shoulder blades back and tuck that belly button in we're gonna come up and bear crawl right hand to left shoulder hold for an exhale one two three four, inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, collapse the stomach, one, two, three, four, inhale, one, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. So you know what I realized? I actually messed up on that one. I'm so sorry. We're supposed to touch our toe. Yeah, next yeah. time we'll do that. Okay. I'm sorry. I realized that at, at, like halfway through, I'm like, what am I doing? All right, so now we're gonna do right hand to left thigh, so across your body. Pass off the back and you're gonna flex your feet. You're gonna punch into that hand as hard as you can with this leg. So exhale, drop, and inhale, bring it back. So the harder you kick into that hand, the more fired up your low abs and your obliques are gonna be. Good, so always flexing the toes into the face. Yep, perfect. And then with your hand that's floating backwards, let's go thumb to floor and then pinky to toe. So we're gonna put, face our palms in towards our face. Yep, good. Wow, if you really push it, it's hard. Yeah, that, <clears throat> that one fires up. So we have 15 seconds left. Push hard for five, four, three, two, one. Opposite hand to opposite thigh, thumb to floor, push hard. Down and here. Exhale as you come down. Inhale as you come back to center. So in addition to pushing as hard as you can, if you can always tilt the pelvis down towards the floor, you're going to extra involve those low abs. Five, four, three, two, and one. So right here, you're going to keep your elbows as close to your temples as possible to prevent momentum. We're going to roll that belly button in, start with your feet, if you have low back issues, you bring your feet closer to your face. If you don't, you drop them down to the floor. And you're just going to lift, keeping your, your feet off of the floor, and then roll yourself back down. So exhale up and down. Good. Always trying to keep those elbows as close to your temple as possible so your low abs do all the moving. You have trouble sometimes with your muscles here grabbing. The hip flexor? Yeah. yeah. Does it feel like it's really tight? It just feels like that's what's working. It's actually the top of my quad. If, if that's what it feels like is working, bend your knees a little bit like this. So that, so bend your knees. And so that quad gets taken out of the equation and you're just oh, yeah. blocking. It's just my left side. So weird. There you go. <sighs> Good job. Five seconds, four, 
three, two, one. Okay, quick little break, water if you need it, and then we're gonna hit those again. This time I'll do the right exercise at the beginning. I apologize for messing that up. <laughs> I'm kind of glad. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we're actually touching our toe. The option is to touch the knees. So we're gonna zip that belly button back, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. So it's kind of like that dead bug. The more you squeeze your glutes, the harder it's gonna be. So up we go, hand to foot in three, two, one. Exhale, try to hold for four seconds, and then inhale back down. There you go, good. <laughs> I love your giggle. It's so cute. Yes, good. For five, four, three, two, one. We roll onto our back. So it's that opposite hand to thigh. Moving your, your head on the ground. We're rolling the pelvis down, thigh, um, calves off the back. Your hamstrings, and we push as hard as we can, thumb to floor, pinky to toe. So palms always face in towards your body. So the, uh, the breathing again is exhale for four, touch the ground, inhale back to, for four. Push hard, final 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, switch sides. Push hard, calves off the back of the hamstrings, push and drop. And inhale back up. So right now, if you're pushing hard enough, you should feel like your abs are burning. And keep the breathing going. Exhales down the way down. Inhale back to midline. Five, four, three, two, and one. So now is a hollow hold rocks. So elbows tight towards your temple. They never leave this position. And you're rocking unless it's the quads and then you can bend the knees in a little bit and it'll force your abs to come back in. So we've got 45 seconds on the clock. Good, exhale up and inhale down. Flexing the feet in towards your face as much as you can, reaching high through the middle fingers towards the sky. There you go. That's perfect. Not quite. <laughs> 15 seconds. Yep, there you go. Good. Stay up there. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> do as I do, guys. You know what, though? I let's stretch your abs real quick, and then we'll go right back into it. Okay. We can just open it up so they're not so tight. That one kicks my ass. I, I, I we learned that exercise in college, and I still cannot do it all the way. I have your legs are heavy. Legs are so heavy. Yeah. And also the low abs for women are just tough, especially after having kids because that's oh. what stretched out the most. Right. And yours were cut, right? No, mine, mine were, I got induced. I almost had oh, to, that's right. I almost had to with Cole, but. Whew. So let's oh. see. we have 10 minutes. So here's what we're going to do. 
we're going to string all of them together, starting from the plank into the core. And we're going we're to go nonstop. So if we need to stretch the abs a little bit more, go into child's pose, I'll give you guys 30 more seconds, and then we're going to string them all together. Scout is so cute. <laughs> I just love her personality in the back. She's just so cute. Oh, this is really nice. This is her day off, she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 35 seconds across the board, starting with the, the plank tap, the one that I did incorrectly the first time we're actually doing this time. And then we'll go to plank up downs, okay? Any option you need, it's okay to go to the knees. We're gonna go 35 seconds, starting with plank taps in three, two, one. Up we go, right hand to left shoulder, exhaling as we go for four, inhale back down for four, three, two, one, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, up, one, two, three, four, down into plank, down, plank up, down, so down on your left, and then up on your left. Always pulling that belly button in as hard as we can to the back of the spine. Keeping the chin nice and long. Always thinking, looking at something in front of you, not behind you. Five, four, three, two, one, down into army plank crawl. Come into low plank, zip the belly buttons up. One, two, three to the front. One, two, three to the back. Always keeping everything super close towards midline, keeping your legs as straight as possible. Final 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay to go to the knees on this one if you need to. Push up isometric hold for 30. Three, two, one, here we go. Keeping the chin long, shoulders down into their pockets, belly buttons up. Squeeze the glutes, get down just a little bit lower for the final 10. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna go right into toe taps. So your arms should be a little bit tired. If you need to roll out your shoulders for a second, that's okay. We're gonna go into toe taps in three, two, one. Zip that belly button up, hold for four, three, two, one, back, one, two, three, tap, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, exhale, close, two, three, four, inhale, down, two, three, four, close, one, two, three, four, down, one, two, three, four, last one, two, three, four, lay down on your back, opposite hand to opposite thigh, Push as hard as you can. And then we're gonna go thumb to floor. So taps off the back of the hamstring, flex those feet, push hard into those hands, and then inhale back. Always focusing on keeping everything close towards that midline again, and tilting that pelvis down so that your low back is always touching the floor. Straight arms as can be for five, four, three, two, one, and switch. Exhale back, inhale, center. So same thing on this one, if you guys wanna challenge, as you dip your back to the floor, squeeze your pelvic floor as tight as you can. That'll help engage that pelvic floor and make it stronger. Five, 
five, four, three, two, one. And everyone's favorite, hollow hold rock. Same thing, zip the belly button back and tighten the glutes. Elbows tight towards your temple. We move out in three, two, one. So exhale up and inhale down. Nice job, Mary. Looking good. Okay, to bend the knees if needed. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. For the final 30 seconds of class before we stretch on our own, you get to pick your least favorite exercise and do it for 30 seconds. <laughs> and then we can be done. You can stretch. So which one is it for you, Mare? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Everybody choose your hardest one. You got 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, one. Here we go. Exhale all the way out. Yep, inhale all the way back in. Good. This is your final 15. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Good job, everybody.